Welcome back to the Hydro Haven channel, where today we're diving into something truly fascinating that could revolutionize how you think about those problem plants in your garden. What if I told you that some of the plants you've been fighting might actually be nature's soil doctors? In India, a country with thousands of years of agricultural tradition, farmers have long recognized the power of certain native plants to restore vitality to depleted soil. These aren't exotic specimens requiring special care. They're weeds, those resilient plants that seem to thrive where nothing else will grow. By the end of this video, you'll discover how these miracle weeds can transform barren land into fertile growing spaces, often faster and more effectively than commercial solutions. Let's explore how these underappreciated plants can become your allies in building living, vibrant soil. Before we celebrate these heroic weeds, we need to understand the enemy they're fighting. In India, where agriculture supports hundreds of millions of people, this issue is particularly severe. When soil becomes degraded, it loses its structure, organic matter, and microbial life. The causes are many. Intensive farming without rest periods, overuse of synthetic chemicals, erosion from wind and water, and the loss of traditional farming practices that once maintained soil health naturally. This is where our miracle weeds come in. Perhaps the most celebrated soil healing plant in India is Daincha, known scientifically as Sesbania bispinosa. This remarkable plant deserves the spotlight for its extraordinary ability to transform nitrogen-depleted soils. Its magic happens below ground where it forms a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that capture atmospheric nitrogen and convert it to forms plants can use. Indian farmers have traditionally grown Daincha as a green manure crop, plowing it back into the soil before it flowers. What makes Daincha particularly valuable is its tolerance for challenging conditions. This adaptability makes it perfect for restoring land that other plants refuse to colonize. Known as Ayak or Madar in Hindi, Calotropus is often seen as a nuisance plant growing along roadsides and wasteland throughout India. However, this tough evergreen shrub plays a crucial role in rehabilitating highly alkaline and saline soils, conditions that defeat most plants. Calotropus has developed specialized adaptations that allow it to thrive where soil pH exceeds 8.5. Its extensive root system penetrates deep into compacted soil, creating channels for water and air while accessing minerals from lower soil layers. As its leaves and flowers drop and decompose, they gradually reduce soil alkalinity through the release of organic acids. The plant contains compounds toxic to nematodes and certain soil pathogens, effectively serving as a natural soil fumigant. What's particularly valuable about Calotropus is its biomass production. In severely damaged alkaline soils, Indian farmers sometimes establish Calotropus as a pioneer species, allowing it to grow for one to two years before transitioning to other crops. Known locally as Shaolai or Thodakura, this common weed found throughout India might be growing in your garden right now. While many gardeners pull it without a second thought, Amaranthus viridis is actually a powerful agent for soil restoration. What makes Amaranthus special is its exceptional ability to accumulate minerals from the soil, particularly phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Its deep taproot can access nutrients from soil layers that many crops cannot reach, bringing these elements to the surface. When Amaranthus plants decompose, either naturally or when incorporated into the soil, these minerals become available to the next generation of plants. Even more impressive is Amaranthus's ability to absorb heavy metals from contaminated soils. For home gardeners, allowing some Amaranthus to grow in fallow areas can really improve soil quality. Lantana has a complicated reputation in India. Introduced as an ornamental plant during colonial times, it has become invasive in many regions. In areas where erosion has stripped away topsoil, lantana is often the first woody plant to establish itself. What makes lantana particularly effective is its ability to create favorable conditions for soil microorganisms. Known as kulfa in Hindi, purslane is perhaps the most underappreciated soil healer. 
This succulent annual with its reddish stems and paddle-shaped leaves grows close to the ground, creating a living mulch that protects soil from erosion, excessive heat, and moisture loss. Purslane's shallow but dense root system stabilizes the top layer of soil, exactly where most of the biological activity occurs. What makes purslane remarkable is its effect on soil carbon. The wisdom of Indian farmers in utilizing these weeds didn't develop overnight. It evolved through centuries of observation and experience. Today we can apply these traditional practices in our modern gardens. See weeds as indicators, not just invaders. Practice selective weeding, allowing beneficial species to grow in certain areas while removing truly problematic plants. Create a weed rotation by allowing specific beneficial weeds to grow for a season in areas that need rehabilitation. The key is working with nature's processes rather than fighting against them. The next time you spot these miracle weeds in your garden, you might look at them with new appreciation. By understanding and selectively utilizing these plants, we can accelerate the process of soil building, reduce our dependence on external inputs, and create gardens that grow more resilient and productive each year. Here at Hydrohaven, we believe that the most sustainable gardening approaches often come from understanding traditional wisdom and applying it thoughtfully in our modern contexts. These miracle weeds of India represent exactly that kind of timeless knowledge. If you found this information valuable, please subscribe to our channel for more content that bridges ancient growing wisdom with modern gardening techniques. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming video on companion planting strategies from traditional Indian agriculture. Until next time, remember that sometimes the plants we try hardest to eliminate might be exactly what our gardens need most.